Hey everybody, I'm Brian with Fort Knox Company. I'm gonna show you how to change out your air filter here in this Toyota Corolla. Really easy, very fast, something you can do yourself. I'll put a link for all these different air filters that fit in this type of vehicle. And uh, this one right here I got off Amazon, could be at your doorstep in about two days. This is a OEM standard replacement and obviously there is some upgraded versions. So I'll put those links in there as well, but I'll show you just how easy this is and how you can do it yourself. So coming in here to pop the hood, on the left driver's side, you're gonna have the hood release. Once you have your hood open, there's gonna be a lever right above the emblem here. You're gonna lift up and then we can put our stay. Once we have our post in place, we can keep the hood up. This lever is right here above the emblem. You're gonna lift up on it and that releases the hood. Your air filter box is right here. It's to the right hand side or driver's side of the engine. Now what's great about these Toyotas is they make them very user friendly so that you can do a lot of the maintenance yourself. This is super simple, probably the most simple, easy ways to change your air filter. You have a tab right here, a little clip you pull back, and there's another one back right here. That's it, then we can pull this off. There's a little clip right here that this slides into and those are the only two parts that you have to release. So once you have those two tabs released, you can slide this forward and then you have your air filter inside. So you can just pull your air filter out there. You can see this bottom side is pretty dirty, less than a year old, but you would recommend probably changing this every year and depending on how much driving you're doing. I like to do it every season because these are very affordable and obviously very easy to replace. The one thing to pay attention to here is you'll see that there's three rounded corners and there's one that's squared off. That does go in this way to the box. This bottom left hand or more forward to the front of the vehicle has that squared off corner. Every other corner is round. So you will put this in place just like that for the new one. You can see this new one, same shape, three rounded corners. And then we have that squared off part at the bottom left. Then once you have your air filter out, you can take this and put it exactly back the way the old one came out. But before we do that, I'm just gonna kind of show you the way that this looks inside. It's pretty easy. I would sometimes clean that out, you know, if you have the ability to vacuum that out. There shouldn't be too much dust on the top, maybe the bottom where it sits, but this is not that complicated. Again, just the two clips that hold it, and you can move this with one or two hands to be able to put that new filter back in. So now that we have that new filter back in, all we have to do is put those clamps back down and we're done. That's just how easy it is. Really fast and simple. Probably takes less than five minutes. Definitely can do it yourself. Again, I have links for everything in the description below for the filters that fit this vehicle. There are a lot of different filters for this. k and filters. These are like a stock filter. You don't have to break the bank on it, but if you do want to go a little bit more performance, you could get one of those other ones, and I have links for all those in the description. If you haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe, let me know what kind of videos you want to see, and I'll see you on the next build.